hey guys, this is why you should add validation to your forms. So this is just a page built in Databowl. Um, it's a sort of standard multi-stage page. Um, people create and fill in things. Um, and they'll drive paid traffic to it. So traffic comes from Google, Facebook, native, affiliates, whatever else. Um, and not all of them, but sometimes people just miss validation. By validation, um, it can cover many different forms, but it's stuff like where it's collecting first name and last name, make sure it's um, alphabet only, where it's telephone number, make sure it's numeric. Um, Personally, when you're collecting things like phone, email, I always put um, validation on it. And by that, I mean like validation from companies like the GB Group or um, us or Equifax or Experian. And it just does a live API call directly to um, effectively, it pings either a telephone number or an email address and tells you whether it's live or not. And the thing is, when you're driving paid traffic to it, there's three types of invalid records that you get. So um, firstly, you just get people mistyping things, so like a telephone number. Let's imagine you're buying PPC traffic in this instance for something like energy. It might cost you like five pounds per click. And every person that clicks it, they put their wrong details in. That's five pounds spent. You're never going to be able to get that returned. Um, sometimes you get people entering Mickey Mouse details. I mean, there's not a lot you can do about that. Um, you can put different validation on things like names, not them get fill it in, but they're going to do it anyway. But the very worst one is where most fraud happens is wherever there's payment behind something. So with paid media, um, there'll be fraud. And so it comes from bots, from click farms, from people that are just trying to figure out a way to make money from a click or a lead that you're paying out. So this is why you add validation. So you can stop people entering incorrect details that actually want to enter their correct details and mistyped it. People messing about, um, just filling nonsense in. The very biggest thing is fraud. Um, so for example, in Databall, when we build pages like that one I've just showed you, we just put, so if I wanted to put like mobile validation on, just click this button, it adds mobile validation directly to the telephone field, same with the uh, email address, and just as a live lookup for the API. So. What I suggest is you just completely ignore the cost behind it. So it's really inexpensive. Like the um, mobile validation is called HLR. Um, it's something like three pounds a thousand, three pounds fifty a thousand. And people will look at that and think I don't want to necessarily pay that cost, or um, it might be quite of a technical setup trying to do it. They don't want to hire people, things like that. Um, but the cost of not doing it and driving significant traffic to a paid um, via paid media to your landing page is huge and you will lose far more than you'll ever make. Cheers guys. Thanks.